Hey, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about how you figure out the tempo for a piece of MIDI. Uh, I think we've all had this experience where you're playing around with your, your MIDI controller, uh, be it a piano or a MIDI guitar or whatever it is that you play with, and uh, you come across something really cool and you record it. You don't bother figuring out the tempo, you don't bother um, you know, setting a metronome or anything, you just hit record. So, okay, I just recorded something, but what tempo is that? Who knows? Um, you know, it's it's uh, in rhythm with itself, but it's certainly not uh, lined up to the grid. One thing I could do, of course, is I could basically stretch this so that it lines up exactly with the grid. And ultimately, that's, of course, what I wanted to do. I mean, I want it to be lined up with the grid so that I can work with it as MIDI. But uh, if I do that, then it's going to get much, much faster. It's going to go up to 120 BPM, which is the default BPM for Ableton and for most audio software for some reason. And once I do that, I'm going to lose uh, the tempo that I played in. And I, I kind of want to know what that tempo is before I ruin it. Uh, when you're working on any creative project, the big enemy is loss of perspective. And in this case, um, there's this weird thing that happens that once you hear something faster, the slow version is always going to sound way too slow. And you're going to always have that, oh, what was that tempo? And, and I tend to think the original tempo, whatever the original tempo is, it's usually the right tempo. You usually have a sense of how fast something should be. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label this as original. Then I'm going to make a copy. Call it grid. And I am going to bring this, I'm going to match it to the grid. Okay, so there's this cool thing you can do in, in Ableton, which is you can stretch MIDI. Uh, and this is a nice clean loop. It's four bars, or maybe it's eight bars. Um, and this would be the ninth bar, the beginning of the ninth bar. So I'm actually going to keep that note there, uh, because I'm going to use it as a handle to stretch uh, the MIDI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of my MIDI notes. And you see at the very start, there's uh, a little drag handle. At the very end, there's also a drag handle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point, which is the start of that ninth measure, and I'm just going to drag this over. And as you can see, all of the notes got moved over and they got uh, shortened uh, proportionally. So I can get rid of that and we're going to make this a loop and we can listen to it already. Okay, so that sounds pretty good already. So uh, I've done the thing that I said I didn't want to do. I have now aligned it to the grid and I've lost my tempo. I don't know what that original tempo was. So what Ableton's really good at is audio. Uh, MIDI is kind of an afterthought. Um, what it's really good at is um, working with uh, audio loops. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to export this as is, and it doesn't matter what we call it. It doesn't really matter where we save it. Uh, I'm just going to save it to the desktop and I'm going to actually call it delete me so I remember to delete it. And what I'm going to do is pull it in in one of these audio tracks and I'm going to mute this. and we can actually. Okay, so there's our audio. And this is audio we're never going to use in our actual song. We're just going to use this to figure out what the tempo is. So what I can do is I can take this, which is obviously the start of that measure, and move it over to the 3. This is the start of the next measure. and move it over to the 5. This is the start of the following. And we're basically just proceeding like that. So because Ableton is used to working with drum loops and things like that, um, it uh, displays a BPM because it wants to let you know, of course, how much your audio is being warped. So if you're at 120 BPM like we are, um, it wants to let you know, okay, well, your loop started at 104, which is actually quite a lot of, of uh, um, stretching and can cause all kinds of artifacts if you're actually working with loops. But we're actually doing this just to figure out that BPM. And there it is, 104. Ideally, what you do is you actually get four or five measures like this, and you can kind of like take an average because this is like a live uh, take, 
uh, my tempo is going to fluctuate from bar to bar. So the first bar is 104, the second one is 105, third one is 103. Uh, so if we're working with MIDI and we don't really need those fluctuations, we can just uh, figure out what the average is by removing all the middle points. The average, <laughs> the average is exactly 104. What are the odds? Um, okay, so anyway, we can shrink this down to 104. And now if we listen to our grid version, turn off our audio track, listen to the grid version. Perfect. So yeah, that's how I find out the BPM of tracks in Ableton. I basically use this weird workaround where I export it out as an audio file, import it back in, uh, and then warp it. And then it basically just tells me. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you like these kinds of tips, make sure you subscribe. Take care.